Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Here it is the 3600 CPU from Ryzen. It's the best, cheapest budget, best performance budget CPU you can buy. It's compatible with high end GPUs. So if you want the cheapest processor, For your build, this is it, the one. Be careful when you open this plastic. Be careful to not bend the pins. They are very fragile. You can buy this CPU from AliExpress. The link is in the description. This CPU have six cores at three point six gigahertz. Now let's put our CPU into the motherboard. This is an AM4 socket. First you need to pull up this metal pin. Look for the dot here. And find the dot on the motherboard. Then just pull down We need to put fan. Make sure the fan is facing the front of the of the box, so it will blow up the wind to the back to the rear fan, and the rear fan will push out the wind, the hot wind outside of the case. We will need first to put some heat sink. Just a dot or a little line. Don't put too much. And be careful. I think this is enough for testing. I may prefer to to paint all the CPU with a thin layer of heat sink, but a line in the middle will work also. This is an RGB fan, so we would need to put RGB cable, the light cable, then put this one to the first CPU fan here, just search for a label of CPU fan.
I need to open it again. Okay, now it's in the right place. Okay, we are done here. Now it's the SSD time. Remove the small screw. Don't force it too much. We just need the screw to hold it in the, the, its place. Of course, the CPU does not have uh, integrated graphic card, so we need to add an external graphic card. Remove the right port, but be careful. We don't want to scratch or break the components of the motherboard. Make sure you are not touching anything. I prefer if you can push it up. I'm just using this card graph card for testing. Then you put your screw here to fix it. I think we are done here guys let's boot up this computer and check the BIOS settings you may need to remove the battery here to reset the BIOS settings remove the battery and wait for 10 sec or 30 seconds then plug it again now let's turn on the computer. The first time may take longer. Press the delete key while the computer is turning on to enter the BIOS. For the first time you may be asked to reset TPM, just click Y or 
F1 on my case I will just load the default settings then F with F5 you will load default then click F10 to save settings and reboot again click delete again here it is receipt FTPM click Y click delete again Now let's go to the advanced settings and do some overclocking. For the RAM, just choose your overclock profile. For the CPU core ratio, you can increase it from the base of 3600 MHz to up to 4. Okay, I was able now to boot with the setting of 4.2 GHz and 1.4 volts. It's recommended to keep the voltage automatic. Don't forget to do a benchmark by stressing, stress testing your CPU. I am using CPU burner to test my overclock settings. Program is called Fermark. Keep it running for some time. Don't forget to check your CPU temperature. We don't want to overheat. If your temperature is over 80 degrees, you may need to reduce your clock speed or put a decent cooler.